to the Happy Nessa 1111 channel, where we are committed to happiness, connectedness, and being you authentically and unapologetically. So this is Let's Talk Tuesday. This is a follow-up to Mental Health Motivation Monday. I also have Weight Loss and Management Wednesday, Life Vlog, Thankful Thursday in Our Big Family, and um, Soulful Sunday, which has currently been a lot about in past, but it'll be a lot of stuff on there. So, Let's Talk Tuesday. I want to quickly go into what I just discussed on Monday and then present you all, and no matter what day you're watching this, of course, this is relevant to our mental health any day. So um, I really want y'all to be encouraged to comment below um, so that we can create that community and so that I can be more connected to you all and really see what you all are thinking and what you want on this channel when it comes to mental health. So I've been talking about limiting beliefs. We talked about thoughts. We talked about limiting beliefs. We talked about replacing a limiting negative belief with a positive belief that you actually want to manifest in your life. For example, we talked about going from there's never enough money to there's more than enough money for those who follow their passions. There's more than enough money for those who work hard enough. There's more than enough money for those who work smart, not hard. Things like that. You know, um, different beliefs that you can recreate in your life so that you're not living this life of sabotaging your finances. There's never enough time is another one. So replacing there's never enough time with, there's more than enough time when I simplify my life. There's more than enough time when I prioritize my life. There's more than enough time when I'm focused. Um, and then the last one was about help. Healing any trust issues that you have. Excuse the noise in the background, that's the TV, the kids. Um, healing any trust issues you have because when you trust people, then you're going to have a lot of trustworthy people show up who are going to help you. And... Um, you're going to have that mutually beneficial relationship with the people in your life, friends, family, partners, all of that. All right, so on this Let's Talk Tuesday, what I want to do is present you all with some questions that you can either think about in your head, reflect on, you can write it down in a journal. I would love it if you would comment below and get some things going. No matter when it is, I mean, obviously this is going to be uploaded at a certain date, but no matter what date you come across it, the, the comments and things eventually will start flowing and be ongoing. So, on this Let's Talk Tuesday, what limiting belief did you create, I'm sorry, what limiting belief do you have and what is the replacement belief that you now have matched it with? So, I would love it if some of y'all would be vulnerable enough to share some of that. What's another question? Hmm. When it comes to replacing. Um... What things, what questions do you have about limiting beliefs? You know, is, is there still confusion about what a limiting belief is? Is there any confusion about the psychology behind how a belief can really manifest in your life and how it really can dictate your life? Are there any questions around that? Hmm, what else? Um, what are some actions, right? So we can talk about the mind and that's a powerful thing, but what actions? Take it a step further. You have your limiting belief, you have your replacement, but then beyond that, what action, right? What actions might some of you have to take in order to really live this out? So for example, one for me is knowing that, yeah, my passions, believing and knowing my passions are definitely connected to my riches. And so for some of us, if you're being entrepreneurial in your pa passions, then that means you might have to invest in some money or you might have to invest in some time before you actually recuperate, you know, um, all of those benefits and actually live a wealthy life. And that's fine because you can find a lifestyle that's going to allow you to do that. And I've done that. And so when it comes to my actions, right, what I've had to do in order to kind of satisfy all three of those limiting beliefs, the money, the time and the health, excuse me, is I've had to be very strategic about my lifestyle. So in order to have the money, I've got to have enough time to have to have for my entrepreneurship. So I've got to strategically do seasonal jobs or do certain jobs where I still have time to be a wife, to be a mom, to be a friend, to be a family member, to be a daughter, um, and to be an entrepreneur. That's a lot of different titles that a lot of us have. And so I have had to be like, certain jobs are going to not pay me enough for the amount of work that they, that they require. And on top of that, I'm not going to have time to pursue my entrepreneurship and to be um, the family member that I really want to be. So that, that's not an option. So strategically um, balancing my life in that way, simplifying home life. So a lot of us want to be super women and super mom. 
And um, a lot of us do feel that we have a lot of high expectations of ourselves and other people as well. But you've got to simplify that. You've got to realize in any given day, you don't have to put so much in one day, which is easier said than done if you can be a type A or if you can be um, a perfectionist. So I know that can be easier said than done, but um, it, it can be done. So again, for me, the action that I took or the process was, again, knowing what my limiting beliefs are. Those three were are some of the ones that I'm still healing. Not enough money, not enough time, not enough help. And then two, replacing it with more than enough money, more than enough time, tons of help. Like I can say that too with, you know, having my, um, my older children, daughters being so helpful, um, being able to manifest hired help, being able to manifest lots of different things, right? Family and friends in the community um, that can help out. So yeah, and yeah, I hope I'm making sense. So I'm trying to say the, the thought that I was trying to have, the complete thought is that I went from the limiting belief to the replacement beliefs to then acting. I have been simplifying my life. One example I'll give and I'll wrap up the video is talk about minimalism. So if you look around the house right now, for a, for a family of our size, one, we don't live in a huge house. We live in a decent sized house, but it's not huge for the size of our family. It's, it's, it's good. It's a good sized house. With that being said, we've learned to live in lots of smaller spaces because we have traveled and done some different things. And um, minimalism is something that I came across on accident that I that has stuck with me that has been very freeing. It's like making sure that everything in your house has purpose. And when it doesn't, give it give it away. Please don't throw it away. Please. Give it to Goodwill. Give it to um, a shelter or give it to another family. Recycle. And yeah, but minimalism is the prioritization that I've talked about previously, having more time and money when you prioritize yourself. It's a simplification that I talked about previously, having more time and money when you simplify your life and focus your life. So I don't have a ton of clothes, but that's on purpose. It helps me not have a ton of laundry. It helps me just throw on whatever. Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of stuff because with more stuff, I have to organize more stuff. I have to clean more stuff. And it means I constantly, especially with my girls who are often getting gifted stuff and buying things, that means we often got to recycle. Give it back to Goodwill. Give it to somebody else in need. And know when you just aren't using something, you know? So that's for me. That's not for everyone. And I can't say that we won't, that we will always live as a minimalist. I think there will be some times where we're going to have a bigger house with a lot more storage just because we are homebodies. So there's a lot that we do do at home. And there's probably going to be a time, a phase where I'm going to want more storage stuff so that we can pull out things as we need it. So, so yeah. So do what you need and realize it's all connected. You can do it. Comment below with your thoughts, with your limiting beliefs, with any replacement beliefs, with any actions that you plan to take as a result. So thank you so much for listening. Check out the other videos. Share, like, subscribe. And just thank you for supporting the channel, honestly, guys. Humble beginnings. I really appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Be you. Be happy. Bye.